Yeah, Ted, Balderson says he's already looking forward to the November election. Now he says he's going to campaign hard, despite being in Washington. By all appearances, President Trump got his way. It helped. It, it, President Trump's endorsement helped my campaign. Governor Kasich's endorsement helped my campaign. Congressman Pat Tiberi's endorsement helped my campaign. I mean, it, they all helped. Um, and, you know, I was fortunate to have that. Senator Troy Balderson is already claiming victory despite not being officially announced the winner. So far, thousands of absentee and provisional ballots haven't been counted. I said that from the very beginning that um, this race is going to be close. And not only this race, the primary is going to be close. We're going to sit down next week and, and we'll reevaluate some things, um, but it'll be pretty much very similar to what we did for the special. Um, very grassroots oriented. If Balderson holds the seat in Congress for the next several months, that means he'll spend a great deal of his time in Washington, D.C. I wanted to know if he felt it would hurt his campaign for the November elections. No, um, th there's a balance, and I I've been able to do that. I, I currently am a sitting state senator, um, and I was able to do my Senate duties uh, and also campaign. So you, you can do that. Yes, it's a little further away than beforehand, but. Um, yes, I, I will be able to manage that. And Balderson also tells me that President Trump gave him a call last night. Coming up on NBC4 at 6, hear what they talked about. Local for you in Columbus, Rob Sneed, NBC4.